Hello friends and welcome back to Stay Tonight. In this video, I'll share with you the easiest and the cheapest way to host a website on AWS. Yes, AWS is one of the most popular cloud hosting services and a lot of beginners are always scared to get into AWS because there's so much confusion, there's so many resources and no one knows where to start. So in this video, I'll share with you the easiest and the cheapest way. Yes, the easiest and the cheapest way to host a website. You don't have to have any understanding of Linux or you don't have to know any configuration or any service on AWS. All you need is a basic understanding of how web server works and you should know which stack you want to host your website on. So in this video, I'll be covering the basic LAN stack where we will have a Linux machine on which Apache will be installed and MySQL and PHP will be installed. Now you can use this stack to host your PHP websites or WordPress blocks, etc. So let's get started. Now, as you can see, this is my uh, login panel for AWS. This is my org uh, credentials. Now, just let me quickly log in. Now, we have a couple of servers set on the service that I'm talking about. So, the service is LightSail. Yes, LightSail is the service that I'm talking about. LightSail comes up with a lot of, you know, preset settings, preset configurations, which you can directly use in terms of you know server power cpu memory processing etc and the pricing is also fixed so another very big problem that beginners face is that aws comes with a variable pricing so if i end up using more resources then i'll be charged in you know hundreds of dollars which a beginner would not want if you are just trying out aws service or if you're a beginner who just you know want to uh, host a simple website maybe for your school or college project then you don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on basic hosting of your project. Now, AWS LightSail offers you cheap plans as cheap as $5. Yes, let's see. So if I go to, you know, this create instance, I can see that there are different instance location available. Now, this is the default one uh, that is selected for me, which is India, Mumbai Zone A. I can choose a platform. It can be a Windows platform or it can be a Linux based platform. Mostly websites are hosted on Linux based platforms. So I would recommend go with Linux. Now there's already blueprints created. Like I said, you know, WordPress, if you want to host a WordPress blog, you can simply choose this and you can, you know, go down, pick up whatever server configurations you require and you can click the create instance button and your instance will be created and you'll get a WordPress blog automatically set up for you on AWS. Now the benefits of using AWS, even on light sale is you get the fast AWS network, which is, you know, uncomparable to anyone. You have different other options as well, you know, WordPress, multi-site, you can use LAMP hosting, like I said, Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Then there is Node.js server if you want to post a Node website. Then other CMS like Joomla, Magento, MeanStack for Angular-based uh, application, Nginx server, GitLab can be hosted, Django if you're working on Python etc so this is good you can also choose from os only if you want to you know, install the services all by yourself or if you just need a simple server to play around with to learn linux maybe then you can you know pick a linux os only uh you know configuration now like i said the cheap part yes like you can see here the instance plan starts from 3.5 usds per month now 3.5 usd per month is close to 3 250 or maybe 300 rupees which is super cheap in, in your rupees as well. And you are getting an AWS machine. So I think it's worth it. Like if you want to go for a more powerful one, there's you know different options for memory, processors, storage, transfer, but price should be the constraint. If you are a beginner, then you can follow the pricing plan and just you know to, don't worry about the memory processing. You can anyways, you know, take a snapshot and move to a more powerful uh, version. So in 3.5, you get less power, you get 512 MB processor, one virtual CPU, 20 GB SSD, and 512 GB of data transfer. Now that's good enough. If you want to just try out the AWS service, then you can simply name your instance and you can create the instance. So what did I create? So I created an Amazon language machine. While talking, I forgot I was supposed to create a LAMP machine. I created an Amazon Linux machine. Huh. Okay, it's a fail moment, but let's create another instance. This is Linux and I will pick LAMP this time. 
and everything else can be fine in segment 5 this is free for first 3 months so I didn't have to pay anything for that machine although I'll delete it be a responsive cloud user because cloud machines also affect environment yes the more the number of cloud machines running at different data centers the less or the more vulnerable our environment is so don't leave any virtual machine that you're not using just like that just stop it delete it and free up the resources now let's create this one i'll mark it as sample create instance now the amazon linux server which we created by mistake is already ready so let's see what it has so if when you open this uh, you can see you know different connection ip addresses are there the name of your server then you can see the metrics uh, in terms of average cpu utilization remaining cpu etc snapshots you can if you want to take snapshots of your website you can do that storage disk networking there you can you know see the static ip or you can attach a static ip address so this is the current ip address you can add rules for your ports ssh on 22 http on 80 etc and domains if you want to register a domain if you want to connect it you can directly connect it using uh you know the browser uh, console available on aws or you can also connect it using your ssh client you can use if you're a windows user you can use powershell if you're a mac or linux user you can use terminal to connect so as you can see you know we are into the server and everything is all set if i move a little out so i can see i am ec2 user is my user i'm in the home directory if i move out i can see the entire linux os setup so this is how you can create a Linux machine on AWS, but we were supposed to create a different machine. So this is the LAMP PHP. Now this is the IP address. If I open this IP address, this should be running. So as you can see, uh, the LAMP stack on AWS is powered by Bitnami. So we have our website live on this IP address. You can easily use Amazon 50, Route 53 service and then use your domain name instead of the IP address. So that is also something that I share with you in the next video. For this video, we have set up a LAMP stack server. We have Linux, we have Apache, we have PHP, and we have MySQL, all set and super easy to do that. Now, if you want to connect to this simple server, you can connect using SSH. You'll find that, okay, you have everything ls minus l command you get this htdocs is here inside the htdocs goes all your files so right now there will be an index.html file which we just opened in the browser you can put on your website code here and boom your website is live my friend so you see it's this easy to host a simple website on AWS. And there are some services on AWS which are even easier than this one. And all I had to do was pick some configurations, know what I wanted, and AWS created the server for me. Now, similarly, you can also create standalone EC2 instances, but there you will have to install everything more by yourself. The complete LAMP stack, but we'll get to that as well, one step at a time. So this was it for this video. If you enjoyed this video and if this video helps you in understanding how you can host a website on AWS, then give it a thumbs up, share any confusion that you have, any suggestions that you have in terms of how I should be explaining such videos. Or if you have any confusion, you tried this one and you couldn't do it, then please post your comments and let's discuss. If you want me to continue creating such videos, then like this video as much as you can and I'll be creating more videos around AWS infrastructure. Recently, Stack Overflow Developer Survey 2023 rated AWS as the most used cloud infrastructure around the world by developers. So if you want to become a programmer, if you want to become a successful programmer, have a successful career in coding, then you must know about AWS. And this series will help you to understand that. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.